Hi there, Miranda Alt here with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team with your Monday market update for Monday, March 4th, 2024. Happy spring. I know it's not officially spring here yet in the Midwest, but it has felt like that. And that has been greatly impacting our spring market here. We are off to a really early start. Um, anytime the weather is good in the Midwest, early in March, late February, we're gonna have an early spring season for our housing market. And we are definitely seeing the effects of that right now. So let's take a quick look at our, our uh, McHenry County statistics for the last seven days. We had 126 new listings. We had 132 go under contract, 107 closed sales, 19 price changes, 36 on the private network, and two expired. So let's talk about these numbers just a little bit. So 126 new is a lot more than we had last week, which is great. Um, however, 132 under contract. So supply has gone up, but so has demand. Now keep in mind, both of these numbers are very low comparatively speaking to 2021, 2020, all of those years where we had a lot more um, a lot more homes listed and a lot more demand. We've had very high demand and very um, low supply for quite some time, um, but it's getting worse, it appears, as the years go on. Um, we had 107 closed sales, again, more than we had last week, more than the week before. Um, but still not what we were seeing in 2020 and 2021 or 2022. Um, price changes, we only had 19. That's low. That means in all of McHenry County, of all the homes that were listed, only 19 had to do price reductions. Now, that doesn't mean all of them that needed price reductions didn't do them. But for the most part, we're not having to see a lot of price reductions. Um, we have 36 on the private network. Hopefully, that means a little bit more coming to market. But that is not a big number for private listings. Um, and two expireds is also very low. So um, looking at our housing market as a whole, what are we seeing? Still multiple offers. I've been talking on social media for the last few days um, that my listings that have gone Gone up in the last couple of weeks have all gone under contract within four days. Um, we list on Thursday. We have showings on Friday. We do two open houses typically on Saturday and Sunday. This last week, and we only had one because I was out of town. Um, but and then we have multiple offers. We call for highest and best by Sunday or Monday, and then we have a deal. It's very very fast moving. Now, for those of you that are buyers out there and are feeling very frustrated, I want you to know. It is possible to get a house under contract. It is important that you work with a skilled agent, though. I will say there's a lot of agents out there. There's more agents with the National Association of Realtors than we've ever had before. So you need to keep in mind that a lot of those agents don't do a lot of business. And if they don't do a lot of business, they might not know how to navigate this market and, and um effectively uh, work with you in order to get a house under contract. So I know it's frustrating, but it is possible to navigate this market if you have a professional. Okay, so that's one thing to talk about. So I don't want to be Debbie Downer and make people think that, you know, I'm not going to ever get a house under contract, um, but you can, but you got to be working with somebody that really knows what they're doing. So that's kind of part of it. I also want to let you know that I think 2020, well, Gary Keller on the stage at Keller Williams Conference, which I was at last week in Las Vegas, did uh, put up some numbers that about what we can expect for 2024. I'm going to show these numbers to you here now. This is our annual home sales. As you can see, in 2023, we had 4.1 million homes sold. That was far less than we had in 2022, where we had 5 million homes sold. In 2021, we had a great year, 6.1 million homes. Uh, and in this year, in 2024, we are anticipating that we will only sell 4.3. And Gary Keller actually thinks that that's optimistic. We probably will still stay right about at 4.1 million homes sold this year. Now, what that means is there are less transactions to go around for us realtors, but more importantly to you as the home buyer or seller, um, it's good as a seller, there's less competition, but it's hard as a buyer, there's less to choose from. We have very low demand though, considering how many houses we have for sale and what our population growth has been. If you look back to the last time we sold 4.1 million homes was about 1996, uh, except for 2008. Sorry, 2008, 2009, 2010, rough years. Sure, we all remember those were very, very rough years. Um, prior to that, we didn't see uh, those low of sales until 95, 96, and before that. But Keep in mind what our population has done since that time. It has continued to grow. So we have a lot more people in our population right now. Selling only 4.1 million homes is very, very low. 
So that means demand is low. So you might know your neighbor and think you yourself, I'm locked in at three or 4%. I'm not moving. Okay, good for you. Yes. A lot of people are deciding not to move because they're locked in at a very low rate. There are still a lot of people out there who still need to move. They're going through marriages. I talk about this all the time. Why do people move? They don't move because of interest rates. They move because of a, a life event, marriage, divorce, babies, um, buying their first home, downsizing, things like that drive our housing market typically. What we're not seeing is somebody moving because, oh, their dream house hit the market. Those aren't happening as much but we are still seeing homes being bought and sold. That's still going to happen. Job transfers, all of those things. And so what we're the reason the number is so low, even though, and I say that we have low demand, the reason I say we have low demand is because there's very low supply. Um, so those two are, are creating a market where we still have very low inventory. So we only have about one month's inventory in all of McHenry County. That means it will only take one month to sell out of whatever is listed right now. That is extremely fast and extremely low inventory. In Crystal Lake, we only have about 8.8 .8 month, point oh, point eight months inventory. So less than a month's inventory. And in many of the cities, that's the case. So what do we anticipate for this year? It is going to continue to be difficult to navigate. We do not expect that interest rates will go down. Um, potentially, um, they will go down around the... Uh, election. That's normal. So we could see that happen. Who knows? Um, we had initially anticipated that the feds would lower interest rates um, significantly this year. And now it's looking like that is not going to happen. Strong job numbers, strong manufacturing numbers, and inflation numbers ticking up again. So when inflation ticks up, the feds are not going to be incentivized at all to lower the interest rates. Um, a couple other things we heard from Gary Keller um, from the stage at Keller Williams during uh, the vision speech is what we call it. Um, home crisis. Home prices are expected to continue to go up. So when I say there's low demand, there's also very low supply, which means prices are still going to go up because we still have less supply than we have demand. So um, both are low. <laughs> so that's why we have low transactions overall. Um, however, prices are expected to continue to go up. Um, like I said, multiple offers are still happening, happening over asking. We're seeing the acceleration clause. We're seeing our, sorry, escalation clause, appraisal gap waivers. We're seeing all of those things again. Um, there is a very, very much of a strategy involved in this. Uh, like I said, I have sellers that are still very excited to sell, buyers very excited to buy. There are still homes to buy out there. There's still homes to sell. It's just you have to work with a professional who knows what they're doing. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's still navigable. It's just a little more challenging. And we don't really anticipate as much uh, happening as we were hoping. So late last year and early this year, we were hoping that we would see the interest rates come down this year and that we would see more inventory hit the market. But unfortunately, um, you know, me selling my house and buying another house does not positively infect, affect the uh, housing inventory. That is a moot exchange. If I sell something and buy something, that doesn't create more inventory. We need builders to build in order to create more inventory. We don't see that changing for quite some time. I don't know when, but I've told buyers that I talked to at the open house yesterday, I would not expect this situation to change anytime soon. So if you really want to move, you might as well do it now before prices continue to increase. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, if you look at this graph, uh, we do see that we are about 9% above the annual trend. The 4% appreciation per year is what you can expect. That's what the green line is right there. So long-term trends, 4% appreciation. Um, and then the blue is the annual median home price. You can see in 2008, we were 24% above that trend line. Quite a significant um difference right there, discrepancy in prices. We also had very high inventory. We had a lot more inventory in 2006 than we have now. So prices were going up for no good reason. So I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, this bubble's going to burst. It's got to burst. We are not in a bubble. This is not the same thing as what happened in 2008. Prices are going up at a very, very um, moderate rate. Um, if you look at the next slide we have here, we talk about 1.6% 1. 
annual appreciation. That is very affordable appreciation. The problem is interest rates went up so high, so did prices. It created a situation where um, affordability is very difficult for a lot of people. But as you can see, prices have only gone up 1.6% in terms of annual appreciation. Um, so the prices feel like they're really, really skyrocket high. They actually are not. If you look at the home prices, annual appreciation, you can see that we were our prices were too low for too long. Between 2006 and 2011, homes did not appreciate. They depreciated like they never had before. And so that is why now that they are appreciating and they're finally catching up, they feel really expensive. It's not. Long and the short of it is interest rates are not likely to go down this year. Inventory is probably going to stay about the same around here in Illinois. You might have heard of prices going down in Florida or Texas, and that's true, or Arizona, where they're building houses um, more rapidly than they are here. But here in the Midwest, we're not seeing builders building like they are in other parts of the country. Therefore, we do not have enough inventory to go around. Yes, there are homes being built in Hampshire, and there were as was a Lennar development that went in Crystal Lake. But you have to keep in mind that our population has continued to grow, and the home builders did not build for about 10 years. That is why we're in the situation that we're in. And we also, you know, during that time period, we were in a recession followed by a pandemic. That's why interest rates were so low. So all of this, if you look historically speaking, that's another thing Gary Keller talked about. Historically speaking, interest rates are average. Uh, home prices are average. Um, or, you know, everything is very normal. It just feels very, very intense. Um, so hopefully we'll have some home builders uh, building more homes in the next 10 years and we'll eventually be back to a fair and balanced market. But right now, still very much of a seller's market. I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you need any help, if you want my guidance, please call me. I'm at 815-529-0777 or you can always email me at mirandaaltteam at gmail.com or of course, DM me here on the socials. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.